come float my boat, or well, not my boat, I mean float the boat down in the Okanagan. This is definitely on my bucket list to get this instigated. Okay, she's out of her Christmas colors now. She's just in regular gala. Um, coincidentally, I'm just so bloody excited because I finally caught somebody here after all these years of coming here. I used to come to Penticton once a month from Oliver. Well, near Oliver. Uh, covert uranium basin. I saw somebody walking up on the poop deck or the bridge. Uh, no, below the bridge. Uh, well, whatever. Whatever the hell it's called on this SS Sicilus. Oh man. So I told the young uh, Jessica, uh, English girl, I believe. I told her we want to float the boat. Um, I don't know how, like the members both first rebuilt this puppy, right? I don't know how much she needs to get it registered and up and running and hauling clubs, whatever, you know? Yeah, you want to join the fucking club? Membership's a hundred bucks a year and, and, and here are the day, we'll, we'll set the day's sale according to when we save our money up, okay? And then you can <coughs> do reasonable insurance instead of this Lloyd's of London protection racket. There you have it, right? It doesn't cost a hundred dollars a head to go on the lake with seventy-five dollars going to motherfucking Lloyd's of fucking England for what should be five dollars a head for insurance. Okay, so, uh, however you want to equip her. I guess you want to go green so we can access some of that. <coughs> Carbon tax! You got that, Krusty Clark Krusty? You want to do something for the Okanagan? We're investing our tax money in sustainable development. Okay? No more Olympics nonsense when we get through paying the interest so we can begin to pay the principal off. In 20 bloody years! Alright, so. Who wants to force a uh, source fund? And what an excuse to come down to the Okanagan, eh? I think they got enough property here. Yeah, that's more than ample parking to park if each passenger came down in their 45 foot Brevo. <laughs> I'm sure we could find enough parking lot space, you know, or rent some of the vacant space just up the road which is civic land for parking events to park your, uh, you know, your 65 feet of uh, <coughs> whatever, right? Your new old coach with your big trailer and tow and stuff. All right, so um, anyone interested, let me know, and then we'll set up some kind of uh, source uh, funding. Um, I put the ear in young Jessica, the, uh, oh, what, what the hell was her position? Well, some kind of assistant manager or whatever on the boat. Um, I believe she's got enough incentive. Uh, I didn't overwhelm her with my enthusiasm. <laughs> it was like, ah, I finally found somebody! I saw that! No, I was just slow and I wasn't even going to take out the camera because we did a Christmas one this year, right? Uh, well, no, November 30th. And, uh, oh, what are you looking at me for? It's in the dark. There we go. Hopefully I wasn't talking louder than the waves. Oh, can't we get this whole puppy in? Yeah, I, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get out again. It's been a very rough day. Okay, let's go. So I can get you all in one shot. I'll have to just shut this off and then you'll definitely hear the wave action. I'll try not to speak so loud. So, um, excuse me. What are you doing with your carbon tax, eh? <laughs> Never mind spending it on shipping hydrogen in from Quebec to run six buses. Okay, I've got to tell you, those buses, those hydrogen buses, quit wasting them on the road. They're not a complete waste. You know where we would use those? In a deep underground bump bunker where you want to run it on electricity and not burn your oxygen supply on, like, hydrogen. 
combustion engines, right? Because then you're burning your oxygen. Okay, that's the only place that those six hydrogen buses with the uh, Bellard cells in them. It's good to know to make this shit. Hydrogen cells as we know them because of the nature of the rare me metals. And unless you're going to do a little bit of um, meteorite builders and send some down. Those rare earth metals, no, you haven't got enough to be wasting them on uh, a billion hydrogen powered fuel cells. Yeah, well, here, I'll, I'll give you that shot, I was promising you. YouTube, what can I say? Have a excellent windy evening. See, we even got snow. We managed to get a little bit, just a few inches of snow here. What's today, January 30th, maybe? All right, baby. How's that for number four on the bucket list? Come join me. Buy a membership and uh, have a destination. Best skills, uh, some of you ex men that are retired or poor or whatever. Well, there you go. You know, Spider Lake Springs ain't doing it for you. I'm sorry I had to ditch out on that, but you know, health calls, eh? When duty says, you go. When higher duty calls, well, you get conscripted, right? I would have loved to babysit your little camp there at Spider Lake Springs. Whew. Oh boy, am I chilly. I gotta go get my son. Oh, you're not gonna enjoy this picture. Oh, she's a beaut, guys. Like I said, I don't know how much cash we would have to raise to, uh, to make her pass whatever level of seat worthy you need. But because it's a club, <clears throat> where people, members can bring all kinds of guests and stuff, you know, if they want to bring a shipload of guests, well, you know, that's their thing. Just to pay for the fucking fuel and... Okay, and here's, here's part of the uh, Make Work Project. We don't want no fucking government in your club pocket. You guys rebuilt that puppy. She's yours. <sighs> Gotta train some youngins. And even though, you know, we got the radiation problem here, we want to keep some kind of youngins to take care of us, right? <sighs> Teach them your trades. Get them the certificates before you're too old. I don't care. You can find no kids, grandkids, if you're lucky enough to have them things. Well then, we're all friends. You teach them your trades. I'm not just talking the boat here, right? We got the fucking Okanagan in our back pockets, guys. Let's start doing something to its potential, good sustainable development that's friendly for everything. Everyone compensated properly, fairly. And I mean, boy, I wish I had the time to do this, but I gotta go close the area down. Join the Americas. I forget now, was that? Number one or number two? Well, I'm sure somebody's been paying attention to my videos better than me. It's up there on the bucket list, we know that, right? Again, I need a lot of fucking help to do that. You know, what are you investing here? Surplus time, and if, if you're wasting money on fucking bullshit, expect investing in stock markets to do some shirt and tie that, you know, you never see any of it. You can't even go and look, because what you got is fiat. Well, you better start investing, not necessarily in something like this, but something that turns your crank in one way or another, and might feed you. You know, they're not calling a call to charge to... Don't... Don't... The common sense ones be the one to burst the bubble. But let's let, let it out slowly, you know? And then you can... <laughs> you're, you're, right, you all know what I'm going to say next. You can reuse the balloon for a condom. <laughs> After you quit playing this fucking B-Arc fucking uh, middleman fucking thing. Okay, I quit better quit because I, I had some broccoli today there. Um, <laughs> uh, my guts hurt me.
I may no longer, I may have my ass added back to me and stapled in. Uh, oh, geez, what's it been? Well, a year? Yeah. Well, anyhow. <sighs> but I still have tremendous digestive problems with half my parts missing, right? I don't know. I know.